want to share with you one of my most favorite tools, the road trip. Um, this is a multifunctional tool, emergency tool for your car. And I also suggest it for your office place, your home, and take it with you traveling. And let me tell you why. So first, let's start with the car because it is a flashlight. I bet you guys have already assumed that. So you got high beam, low beam, and strobe. This strobe is a great self-defense tool. This is my buddy Bob over here. Oh, you can't see his eyes. He's over here to give us a hand. See this? And by the way, he doesn't mind at all, I asked him. So strobe is a fantastic self-defense tool. So if somebody approaches you who is a danger to you or you feel that's a threat, a strobe in the eyes, they can't see you. No, they can't see you. And this allows you to be able to get away. Um, life habit, what I suggest is lead with your lead with a leg and go as sideways because you don't want to turn your back and you don't want to go backwards. And I bet you guys can guess why. Put it in the comments for me. I'd love to know what, she's, what your answers are. So here is the stroke. In fact, add the alarm. What a fantastic tool. So for example, you know, you're driving along, minding your own business, something happens, you have to pull off, and you need to get out and check your car. Okay, only do it if it's in a safe area. Listen to your intuition. If your intuition says no, then don't go. So, but you, you look around, you're safe, you're, you're feeling pretty good. Take your self-defense tools with you. Another, safe, another life habit safety tip. So then you got your flashlight to kind of look around, check your tire, what, you know, check inside the engine, whatever you need. But then all of a sudden, where did he come from? Here's a person that's making your intuition go, oh no. So there you go. You can put that strobe in the face so they can't see you, use that alarm and then get away. And already have it pre-planned where you're gonna go. Is the inside your car the safest? Are you at a gas station? Would inside the building be the safest? You need to make that determination. Okay, so it's more than just a flashlight. Let me show you what else we have. Here is the emergency beacon. These LED lights, it's kind of hard to see with my lights, but they are super bright. They look different to me than they do in the camera. But see these? magnets right here. This allows you to attach it to the side or the top of your car. You know what? That way people can see you. So while you're pulled off to the side and you're sitting in your car because you feel that's the safest place, maybe you're waiting for help. Attach it. And that way oncoming traffic that's going by you won't hit you and smoosh you. They know you are there. Because I had a close call a few years ago in the winter, in the rain and at night. And if it wasn't for other cars alerting me, I would have smooshed somebody who was parked half in my lane and you could not see the emergency blinkers and they were standing behind their car. <sighs> close call. So push this, put this on your car and let alert the other drivers. Or if you realize, oh no, there's an accident, you know what? You can put this in the road and alert oncoming traffic that there is a hazard up ahead. For example, a curve, you know, because people don't always see around a curve, especially if there's a lot of trees and whatnot around, and you know, we don't want, we do not want an accident. We do not want you to get hit because that's where injuries happen. So, Put that in the road so people know that you're there. Great tool to have in your car. If you have kids going off to college or new drivers, I highly recommend this tool. But I'm not done. There is more. Okay, so I showed you the alarm, the emergency blinker. You also have a seatbelt cutter. Can you see that blade in there? Two or three yanks to get yourself or somebody else out of their seatbelt. 
fantastic tool. Um, you know, actually, I'm going to get back to that. It is a fantastic tool, but I have a story to tell you or another life habit I want to share. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So here you go. See this? This is a window punch. Press it against the window. And there's a little spiky thing. For lack of a better word, a spiky thing. When you press it, it goes ch -ch -ch and resets. And the window shatters and the window comes out. So you can get in or out of the car or somebody else can. So what I was going to say a minute ago, here's a big life habit for you because, you know, uh, many of us live around lakes and rivers and who's scared of sliding off into the river? Maybe in the winter, for example. What do you do? That's a scary thing. And what do you do if you've got kids in the back seat? Even scarier, because I've got little grands that I haul around. What do we do? So here's my life habits for you. Number one, um, break the window. So push that against, psh, break the window, first thing. Number two, use that seatbelt cutter. If you know, Hopefully you can get yourself out. If not, then you get yourself out that way. Get those kids. And those little seat belts for little ones, those can be so complicated and it doesn't take much for them to get jammed up. So just slice those off. And so you can pull those kids out of their car seats and seat belts ASAP. And then get, every, get out of the car. Get everybody out of the car at the same time. Don't take loads. Get everybody out. Number four. Don't go back for a cell phone or your purse. People have lost their lives doing that. So that is my life habit on what to do if you find yourself in water. So the other great purpose, I love to see this in people's offices, especially those who are near the front door, like the receptionist or the secretaries. You know, when you have people coming in off the street um, or even in a place where maybe disgruntled employees might come in, I highly recommend having this with you. And the reason is sad to say, but we are in the day and age of the active shooter. I hate that I even have to talk about that. But this can be a life-saving tool in an emergency, terrible situation such as that. Because remember that strobe? Here, Bob. He's such, he's such a good sport. Okay, so life habit. When you have an intruder, you know, somebody breaking into your home or into an office or any other violent, you know, violence towards you, we all have what's called an OODA loop. Observe, orient, decide, and act. And it's our thought process. And we're all doing it. In fact, you're probably wondering what crazy thing this crazy lady is talking about. <laughs> but we're all doing it. Now, if it's something we've planned or something we know what to do, our OODA loop's moving really fast. But if we're surprised or shocked or confused or passive, our OODA loop moves really slow. Okay, the first person who cycles through their OODA loops wins. We don't want the bad guy to win, do we? No. We want to win. We want to be able to escape the situation and be in, and head to safety with as minimal trauma as possible. We need to save our lives and also save the lives of those around us. So what do we do? Okay, that, we got that OODA loop. Well, you have, if you have an intruder, um, and they have intent to harm. Their OODA loop is going because they already know what you're, they're going to do. They already have it planned. They might have even been planning it for a long time. They know. So they're cycling it. Okay, we all go through a period of denial, shock, surprise, and many people freeze. Don't be the person who freezes. So you gotta think, what will I do if there's an intruder? I'm sitting at home watching TV, or I'm in I'm at I'm at in the office doing my thing, you know, answering the phones, talking to people, doing my work on the computer. 
you know, and then suddenly you hear something or you see something, whether it be gunshots, we we'll hope not, or somebody angry that has already scared you guys a little bit, or somebody who's a threat to your safety and those around you. Use that strobe. You know what? You have just stalled their little loop. Oops, there we go. <laughs> Multitask, not my thing. But hey, you have stalled their OODA loop because they don't expect that. They don't know what to do and they can't see to hurt anybody. And this gives you a little bit more time to take control of the situation because that's your goal. Well, the goal is to escape and be safe with minimal trauma, but you need to gain yourself some time. So what do you do? Oh, by the way, use that alarm to alert your coworkers so they know. Thanks, Bob. So there you go, you've stalled their OODA loop. And so what do you do when you find yourself in this, that situation? Number one, you escape. Whether you're at home and you're escaping out the closest window or door, or you're in the workplace and you need to escape, Number two, you hide. Number three, you fight. Yes, please fight. Um, us in America, we have, in our culture, we have the habit of cowering. People will huddle in groups. The bad guys are counting on that. They might have even practiced. There's been interviews to some guys who have, who have survived their own act of shooting. And that's one of the things that they have said, that they were practicing shooting down. Because you huddle doesn't mean that's gonna save your life. They're kind of hoping and counting on that. Don't do what they want. You guys fight. Israel, they have the right mindset. In Israel, their mindset is, we're all going to attack. One of us may die, but the rest of us will live. And that's the mindset we, not, we need to have. Because by the way, um, you have an 80% chance of surviving a gunshot wound. But you know what? If they're picking you off in the ground, you have much smaller chance of surviving. So please fight. If you're in your living room, it's as simple as throwing a pillow. Mm -hmm. Throw whatever's closest to you. Do something out of the ordinary. Do something out of the expected. Use your voice. Did you know that your voice is a powerful self-defense tool? Yes, use it. Um, cuss a blue streak. I'm not much of a cusser myself, but you know what? Cuss a blue streak because that is actually a bit intimidating to an attacker. They're not expecting that. Like there's, they're expecting fear and cowering. They're expecting full control. You don't, act, don't give them that control. Cuss a blue streak, scream, yell, throw things at them, be aggressive, but do it in a mindset to escape. Make distance and escape. All right, so here, so again, the road tool, road trip tool can help you with that and also take it with you or in your office because you got the window punch to get out in case of a fire, you got the flashlight in case you are out of power. So it's a multiple tool that can help you in a lot of situations. So I do, I highly, I highly suggest you to have this in your possession and give it to those you love for birthdays and Christmases because this has saved lives. There was a huge, I think it was Hurricane Katrina a few years ago, a gal saved her life with this. She just got it the day before she was able to break the window because she was stuck in her car and the water was overcoming her car. She was able to break the window, get out on top of her car, and then she had the flashlight and the strobe and the alarm to alert um, the people who saved her. So she is alive today thanks to the fact that she had the wisdom to get the road trip. So thank you. In power. <laughs>